Hey, Viking fans, I thought I'd talk about a player we got in the offseason that seems to be earning his starting spot on this defensive line. Let's talk about him next in three, two, one. <laughs> Gather around, Skull Brothers and Sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, at Skull World. Make sure you hit like, be subscribed, and give me a comment. Tell me what you think of Dean Lowry, our new defensive lineman we got who uh, from the Green Bay Packers. Why not? We all, let's just let's steal from within division. Let's let's do it, and maybe we can learn something about this defense or their defense. But hey, he's earned a, he's earning a spot in preseason. Uh, he's being low key talked about, uh, a workman lunch pail type of player. But there's some highlights to this guy that you just may not know about. I did watch uh, a highlight reel of him uh, from 2021, and you would think, wow. You would watch that highlight reel and you would think, wow, we got a good one. But what happened in 2022? Went from five sacks to half a sack. Who knows? But there are traits with this guy that I think are standing out. And that's why he's earning a spot with the Minnesota Vikings as a, a starting defensive lineman. He has played um, some nose tackle and he's played some DN. So I think he, he he's a good fit there. Um you know they t- and i'm going to i'm going to go through i'm going to go through his nfl draft profile and i'll tell you what i i think about him again looking at it the first time reacting to it and telling you what i think of after watching him play a little bit let's bring it up you know what i don't even have it up so let me bring bring that in. let me share my screen really quick all right dean lowry he is he uh he was drafted out of Northwestern by the Green Bay Packers um in the fourth round. He six foot six, 296 pounds, arm length 31, hand size nine and three eighths. So not a whole lot of arm length there, but not as huge a concern for a defensive tackle. Um I don't think I personally don't think. Again, he may be moving in and out, uh, nose tackle, defensive end. But, yeah, fourth round, 39th pick overall, so in the bonus picks in the third round. So he's almost a fifth rounder. Combine results, 4.87 seconds, not bad. Okay, he's not crazy, but for his weight, pretty good. Pretty good. 10-yard uh, split, one7 uh, 1.5 is, you know, like what receivers and running backs do vertical jump 32 and a half. What the hell? Um, hell Josh Oliver was a 33 inch vert and he had 50 pounds less weight than this guy going to the draft. So that's pretty impressive. That's some, that's some, and broad jump nine, six again, Josh Oliver tight end at like a nine, nine. Three cone drill, seven two six, also about the same as Josh Oliver. This is a surprisingly good athlete. But what impresses me more is his thirty reps on the bench. That that I think, you know, sets him apart. Is that this guy has a bull rush in him? He's not elite. No, no question about that. But he can collapse a pocket. I've seen it. Well, let's look at his bio and uh, what they thought of him coming into the draft, and I'll talk more about that. The Chicago Tribune All-State pick decided to stay in state to play for the Wildcats legend head coach Pat Fitzgerald at Northwestern. Uh, like Fitzgerald, was during his time as a two-year, uh, two-time Bronco Nagurski Trophy and Chud Benerick Award winner with the Wildcats. Lowry is a lunch pail. Oh, geez, they even used a word. Um, lunch pail player who brings efforts on every snap. Again, I didn't know they said this, and that's what I call him. 
This is great. He's also a better athlete than most people realize. Just said that. I can't believe he has these type of traits as a D tackle. Showing the agility to spin off blocks and make plays in the backfield. 15 tackles for a loss. Eight and a half sacks in 2013-2014. He's senior year captain. Excellent career with a highlight being his school record. Six tackles for loss against Nebraska. He finished as a team, uh, second team All Big Ten honoree with 46 tackles, 13 and a half for loss, and three sacks. Lowry could play multiple spots along the line, depending on the new team's defensive scheme. Um, overview. Try hard player with good size who is always active. While he won't be considered a pass rush threat, Lowry's production was a function of effort and flashes of power and the aforementioned traits and qualities give him a good shot at being drafted and becoming an NFL backup. Um, He's a little better than an NFL backup. He is better than... I I think... I th- There's some things. They talked about he has a spin move. He does. He has this uh, ability to bull rush somebody and then peel off of them. He's able to shed blocks, especially in the run game. He uh, mirrors down the line and at the last second is able to separate and tackle the running back. Um, so a lot of good things here, but I agree 100% good size, always active. Doesn't give up on plays. Doesn't give up on plays. He doesn't get buried. I don't see him getting pulled up. I don't see, you don't see him getting buried. You don't see him losing. You see him bull rushing, uh, knocking people back. He's a strong individual. I like him. Strengths comes off the snap with burst and good pad level. Yes. Gives chase on the backside, great motor and good play speed. Yes. Yes. Willing to pursue the ball with consistency or effort. hundred percent. When pad level is good, can generate effective speed to power attack. Agreed. I just rave about this guy's bull rush. It's not, it's not elite. I'm not going to lie to you, but it is very, very good. Um, his play frame to fit classic three, four defense event spot. There you have it. He's a fit coaches, praises, work ethic and team first mentality. Just what we need more of it. Bring us, give me more, sir. Does this dirty work with helps others succeed? Yes. Always active again. Yes. Tackle finisher rarely allows runners to escape. Has some crazy tackles in this highlight reel. Um, grabbing a shoulder pad and uh, sh- yeah, uniform off a shoulder pad, bringing them down. It, it, some crazy, crazy tackles he's had in his highlight reel from 2021. Had as many tackles or more tackles for loss than Joey Bosa. What? In college? That's crazy. Uh, he's not Joey Bosa. <laughs> Weaknesses, uh, short arms and small hands prevent him from Posting higher win percentages at point of attack. All right. Not as aware of the ball as, as, as he needs to be. Needs to unhinge from blockers early when runners are in the neighborhood. Now, I don't think it's a big problem for him. Get stood straight up at contact as bull rusher. No. He gets leverage. And this is in the NFL I'm seeing this. Pad level and narrow base rob him of bull rush power and rushing from inside. Looks fine. Dull straight ahead rusher with no pass rush plan can see that. I think it, I, for, for him, I think it's a, uh, uh, synchronized. Like it, he's got, he's got a, he's, he's got a, like, he's going to follow this path. And if this happens, he'll do this, but he doesn't have moves. He doesn't have moves. He's a bull rusher. And then he, and then he peels off the block and if the quarterback snaps up, he makes a sack or he reaches and grabs him and brings him down. He's not, he, I seen a couple spin moves, which is aren't, which aren't bad, but that's the only two things I seen is bull rush or spin move. Doesn't threaten the edge of, of blockers edges of blockers. Don't know what we're really talking about there. Marginal playmaking change of direction. All right. So this guy, I seen a mirror down the line, not lose a leverage shed blocks and make that tackle on running backs. I seen a bull rush and just take down the quarterback and no problem. All right. Um, 
I seen and the one thing I see him a lot doing, knocking down passes. Amazing ability to um not he doesn't get there, he jumps up and knocks down passes. He's a innate ability to do that. I'm very impressed. Um pretty amazing, um pretty na- good knack of, of being able to do that. Here's some things they uh Minnesota put out. Five things to know about Dean Lowry. Hidden gem. Lowry started his NFL career in 2016 after being drafted in the fourth round by the Packers. Dan uh, Burglar of CBS Sports comments that Lowry has was heavy-handed and used his momentum and size to compete against blockers, though initially was projected to be a backup in the league. Lowry has started 80 of 111 career games. So he's got some experience and played for good defenses. Former Wildcat Lowry attended Northwestern University, where he's named senior uh, as a senior to the 2015 All Ten, All Ten Big Second Team. We we said that he rank, ranked second on the team. Thirteen and a half tackles were lost that season. Talked about that. Lowry overlapped at Northwestern with former Vikings D line Afidi Adenagbu. Uh, said that terribly. High school standout Lowry attended Boylan. High school, Rockford, Illinois, where he excelled, especially in football, but also played baseball, basketball for a season. He's, dude's an athlete. He's just big. As a senior, he told 65 tackles, including 21 for loss and 10 sacks. He was named to the All-State Team Chicago. You know, I don't even have this big enough for you to um, be reading this. Let me bring this up. Lowry, um, Lowry is alma mater with a number of notable alumni, including Boy Meets World actor Jonathan Turner and Jody Benson, the voice of Ariel and Disney's Little Mermaid. Okay, nice. But throwback. Lowry recently uh, posted a fun throwback on Instagram page, a photo of him and his sister Ava as children outside the Packers practice facility. He noted the uniqueness of stopping off on a family vacation to watch Packers training camp as a youngster and later being drafted by the same team. There's the picture. Look at that. There he is, a little kid. There's the Packers. He gets drafted by the Packers. Pretty impressive. Although, he's now with the right team. World traveler Lowry and his fiance Maddie traveled to France along the 2022 season. He and Maddie, a Notre Dame volleyball alum, got engaged last June. That's him and his lovely wife um, at Notre Dame. I was like, oh, they, they fixed it up after it got burned? Um, that's in uh, France. All right. So my takes from watching a little bit of him is that he's a football player. He has a motor. He has a good bull rush. He doesn't give up on plays and he knocks down passes. He's not elite. I'm not saying he's a difference maker that I wanted, but I'll take him 10 out of 10 days, man. Uh, and have him on this team. James Lynch, or yeah, James Lynch is now um, gone, done for the season. Tonga is getting snaps at nose tackle. We don't have a lot of depth here. I feel pretty good about having him, having him on the D end or nose tackle. I think this guy gets collapses pockets, and that was a big problem for us. This guy collapses pockets. And every quarterback and their dog was able to step up in the pocket. Maybe not so much anymore if this guy's going to collapse them. And that's why I'm liking it. That's why I'm liking it. Good offseason pick. Quasey, you get. And the guy I talked about on Saturday, uh, Josh Oliver on offense. And then getting this guy on defense was de- um, desperately needed. I'm I'm impressed, man. Good job, Quasi, finding these guys. Skull Vikings. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of Dean Lowry. Cue the music.